As family members continue to mourn following one of the city's deadliest fires, several former residents tell News 3 they had issues with conditions inside the property. They will not fix a, an AC or heater. There is no insulation. So you wake up freezing. They claim there was a lack of heating, a bolted back door, and not a single fire alarm going off that morning. Public records show a limited liability company called Las Vegas Dragon Hotel LLC bought the Alpine Motel back in 2013. Records reveal Las Vegas Dragon Hotel LLC owns several properties in both Las Vegas and North Las Vegas. The Casablanca, the Starlight, and while it's on the market for sale, the Economy Motel. People who have spent time at these properties tell News 3 they've experienced issues. Some were too afraid to speak on camera, but allege they've experienced broken heating, air conditioning, dirty conditions, and more. This past two years has been basically pretty horrible. You know, the, the AC air conditioning hasn't worked, and, uh, and I don't even want to talk about the, the bug problem. Eric White says he spent time at the Alpine, the Casablanca, and the Starlight. He claims conditions aren't ideal. It's like, you know, it's like a, like the slum, really, you know. If I can put it like this, I wouldn't bring my kids here, you know. Maria Creighton says she spent a night at the Casablanca. I mean, it was nasty. I mean, so nasty. And she claims one night was enough. The shower, I went to turn it off. And then when I went to let it warm up, I went to turn it off, it broke. And after months of staying at these different properties, White says he wants to see improvements. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. Now, we have reached out to the lawyer who represents these owners. We have not heard back despite multiple attempts to try to get his perspective. We do look forward, though, to hearing uh, his perspective on these allegations in the future. Stay with us as we continue to cover this developing story. Reporting in downtown Las Vegas, Lauren Clark, News 3. We know you'll stay on top of it for us. Lauren, thank you for the update.